I also love the passion of the fans of the magic communities, even when sometimes it turns against you as an artist. In an example, I did a Planeswalker painting of Rowan and Will. And the reaction of it was really strong on Reddit, in the, the magic subreddit. People either loved it or hated it. And a lot of people were like, oh, I, you know, I hate this art, and you know, what was Howard thinking doing this? And I liked it, I liked the way the painting turned out. So I jumped on and I commented and I said, you know, I love you guys. I love that you are so passionate about it that you will both express your love for it when you do love it, but also, you know, go on and like uh, trash something when, when you don't love it because that's what keeps it strong. That's what keeps it growing. If, if the fans were lukewarm about the art, then, you know, events like the Magic Summit wouldn't be possible. You wouldn't have people traveling from across the country to get signatures on cards if, if the fan base was kind of lukewarm. So I recognize that, that it's actually a really great thing to have the fans respond strongly to the art on both sides of it. And I embrace that. It's like, cool, thanks for, thanks for that feedback. That doesn't hurt me at all. I love hearing it. And it just means that you really care about this product. And I do too. And together, that means it's going to grow and thrive and stay alive. And uh, it motivates me to always do my best with the cards because I know people are watching. I know when the card comes out, people are going to have opinions about it. And that's a cool thing.